दिया मैं गोरिंग लाल गोरिंग वाला पियो अटल बिहारी वास्तविक दस अवार्ड फाउंडेशन की ओर से मैं घनश्याम तिवारी फाउंडर प्रेसिडेंट आप सभी का स्वागत करता हूं मूविंग ऑन पर टुडे इस 267 वर्ल्ड डे बना रहा हूं हाउ टू राइट अ डेली डायरी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है बट जो बहुत बेसिक सा टॉपिक है और इंपॉर्टेंट भी है क्योंकि हमारी डेली लाइफ और सक्सेसफुल होने के लिए हमें जो है डेली डायरी मेंटेन करना बहुत रिक्वायर्ड है और इससे हम अपनी डेली एक्टिविटी को हम रजिस्टर कर पाएंगे और भी कभी तक सब गेस्ट स्पीकर साइली बिस्ट में मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर एजुकेटर स्पीकर एंड राइटर एंड सोशल वर्कर फ्रॉम दिल्ली मैम आई वेलकम यू ऑन बी हैव अ अवार्ड फाउंडेशन एंड ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स हियर पार्टिसिपेंट आप सबका मैं स्वागत करूंगा और आप सबसे पहले रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि प्लीज आप हमारे YouTube चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लें वीडियो को लाइक कर लें बेल आइकन को जरूर प्रेस करें ताकि हमारी अपकमिंग इवेंट जो है आप तक ही पहुंचते रहे आपके जो भी क्वेश्चन है क्वेरीज है तो प्लीज आप कमेंट बॉक्स में टाइम टू टाइम रेज करते रहें हम सेशन के लास्ट में जरूर उसको लेने का प्रयास करेंगे आप सभी के लिए कोड भी शेयर करेंगे जिसके माध्यम से आपको सर्टिफिकेट भी मौलिक मिलेगी इसके वो कोड को आपको हमारे वेबसाइट पे जाके फिल करना है हमारी वेबसाइट में एक अपकमिंग इवेंट्स करके पेज है उसमें आप देखेंगे कि आज की सेशन की पोस्टर होगी उसी पोस्टर को डबल टाइप करते ही वो अटेंडेंस फॉर्म ओपन हो जाएगा आपको सारे डिटेल के साथ अटेंडेंस को फिल करना है तो नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट और गेस्ट भी करना प्लीज स्टार्ट सेशन वेलकम मैम Am I live? Yeah, you can start. Me. Okay. A very good evening to Abha Foundation and Tiwari Ji for giving me this opportunity and platform to conduct a national webinar on a very simple topic, as he has said, how to write a daily diary. So it's my privilege and honor to represent Abha Foundation over here. So a very much thanks and regards to Mr. Tiwari for sharing my profile. So as he already said that I am an educator, speaker, writer, and a social worker. There are certain achievements to my profile also, as I host international webinars also, and I have been nominated for the Global Creative Women's Award 2021. So let's not proceed further, and I'll quickly want to tell you, you know, how to write the daily diary with a short presentation which I have made, and I would like to explain it to. the presentation which i have shared now welcome to the national seminar on how to write daily diary uh this is my profile as already been said now spectators and all the viewers there my first question to all of you is what is a diary now diary is also known as a journal a diary is a private place where you can express your thoughts feelings plans and opinions on everything from work to school and everywhere in between ma'am please can you uh, slide show can you do live slide show okay now as you can see on the screen types of diary you know although there are many types of diary but here i have mentioned only three types okay first one as you can see on the screen is the food diaries and then we have health diaries and academic diaries so i would like to explain you the meaning of the word food diaries health diaries and academic diaries you know now during this pandemic and all you know when the people are sick and you know they have been prescribed a uh, certain diet by the doctors it's very very important to follow that particular diet so when we maintain a diary you know there is a separate diary this food diary then there is a protocol to write whatever is the food maybe whatever is the menu for the breakfast then lunch then dinner but before these three major meals we also have you know those mini meals also at times we prepare soup at times we prepare you know cereals snacks sprouts assorted fruits and all some soft drinks also you know smoothies for children so how to maintain 
what are the ingredients and all so that we are in touch with this and the second thing which you can see on the screen is the health diaries now this was what i was talking about it's very very important the balanced diet the nutrients and everything which we have to you know uh, give to our patients not only on the patients also but how to lead a balanced life and all so this is also very very important and the third which you can see is the academic diaries now these diaries will be helpful to all age group you know whether i'm talking about children whether i'm talking about adults whether i'm talking about the officials also because then you know what i have to plan what i have to do what i have to study there can be certain protocols you know children can maintain their timetable children can maintain uh, the course of some important subjects the key points you know the notes of various subjects and all their examination days their cyclic test you know the teachers numbers and friends numbers there are so many things you know the schedule and everything and especially for the office goers also and for the adults also so by doing this it gives us a very organized structure you know so this is very very important now the second thing is writing diary entries diary entries can be long they can be short they can be specific they can be broad whatever type of diary you decide to write should relate to the entries within it your diary entries should be shorter narratives so it's not like that you are writing the longer stories and sessions and everything no because when you begin you know you have to learn the art of to be very very specific very terse you short words to spread the ideas you know you have to express but in shorter words otherwise it will be very very boring for you so please note this point that the narrative should be very very short and then we come across the format of a diary because especially for the beginners this is also very very problematic because uh, this beginners i mean they do not know how to begin with so for them you know they should know the proper format of a diary now always maintain the date because the diary written without the date serves no purpose you may not write every day some people are also specific about time and place as well again i mean it's about personal preferences because but what i suggest it's very important you know date should be written on the left hand side and then under the date you should write the time and then under the date please write the place also because in future when you scribble over the pages this will be very very important for you to know all these things since one usually keeps a diary for a long period of time it's wiser to think out a general format for your diary entries and stick to it and again i'm telling you there is no hard and fast rule about it but then you know why not to be organized why not to be systematic next choose a subject for example sometimes it's what happened that day or sometimes it's write about something you want to do in the future or maybe to just mark an event that triggered a strong emotion in you like happiness anger excitement etc but whatever it is that you picked your journal for your diary entry will have a topic that way that's why choosing a subject is also very very important because otherwise your diary will look very very casual now the next thing why you know some people they worry about the voice also you know so here we always address our entries in the first person if you want you can give it a name also usually people address their diary entries as dear diary so it depends on you that what new name you want to give to your diary next is requirements there are certain protocols to be followed when we write the diary now what all requirements are there that i want to teach you today the first requirement is you need to be very very honest it's you who are talking to the key thing about a diary entry is that it's always kept truthful natural and free flowing so trust your thought train and don't stop or mince words for the fear of being watched or judged as it is your space to let out all your feelings so don't hold back you know there is no teacher who is judging you you are writing for yourself you are your own judge 
so that's why be honest and don't cheat do not lie do not cheat second point make it a habit well this one i personally think you only have to remind yourself as you begin to write eventually it sort of become this friend of you know to reach out automatically most of the times you will find it very therapeutic to maintain a diary it's wonderful how when you let out all the emotions sometimes the endings get quite conclusive and lead it in a positive direction like you already knew the answer to your questions yourself you just had to let all the foggy clouds of emotions out of the way to see it okay next now this is also very very important because today i want to tell you all the tips how to start a diary writing can be hard and getting started is usually the hardest part if you feel like you don't know how to write a diary entry don't stress over it you can start writing about anything you can even write how you can't think on anything to write once you start getting words out they will start to flow naturally that means my motive to conduct this national webinar on how to write daily diary today is don't be afraid don't be scared maybe till now you might not have written the diary why not give it a shot because you know for learning there is no age to pick up a hobby there is no age and for doing something new there is nobody who will hold you back okay so don't be scared doesn't matter even if you have not done it do it from today and you will enjoy it but before doing i mean beginning with the diary entry there are certain protocols to be followed first decide to write you need to decide you want to start a diary once you have decided you want to dedicate time to creating a diary starting one will be very very easy that means it should come within no one should force you there should not be a societal pressure or your friend is pressurizing you or somebody or you are aping somebody else okay this thought to maintain a daily diary should come within you know because unless and until this thought should not come from within you will not be successful in writing a very good diary next decide what to write this is definitely the hardest part when writing a diary but it is probably the most important if you want your diary to be specific decide what topic you would like to discuss during your entries you can create multiple diaries for different topics or just have one diary that has everything generally diaries are personal and private thoughts but they can also be a great way to keep track of personal musings or anything you would like now here also viewers i want to specially tell you that if you are beginning with this art of diary writing don't go to maintaining three four diaries no you just start with one diary because as i told you here in the diary entry there is nothing you know fast and nothing strict you can begin with whatever ideas you want to begin with so if you have you know different thoughts and everything you can maintain everything under one diary now as i have spoken that you know certain diaries are secrets also because then we you know sometimes we write our personal thoughts and something in that diary which we don't share it with anybody but never mind even if you write your secret thoughts in your diary because it is your personal thoughts it is your private diary don't show it to anybody keep it to yourself okay but again it depends next is create a schedule starting a diary requires that you write in it frequently but it is up to you to decide how frequently you want to write in it whether it be once a day or once a week creating a schedule that you can adhere to the more you can make writing in your diary a part of your routine the more comprehensive and helpful a practice it will become when you have decided what you want to write in your diary decide on a writing schedule again and again i'm telling you that is appropriate for that particular topic for example if you want your diary to be general uh, maybe you want to decide to write in at a certain time every day like so you can go 
and write before you go to bed. If you want your writings to be more specific, like about food, maybe you will write it uh, every time you cook or find a new recipe, make your schedule work for you or your topic. So it depends because there are people who want to write their personal thoughts okay so they generally write before retiring to bed but if i talk about the working individuals if i talk about the officials and all then you know they, they always carry diary with them and if you know any important thought come into their mind they quickly write down before the thought vanishes out so it depends you know you it is your diary so you have to create a schedule whether i want to write it in the morning maybe in the afternoon in the evening before retiring to bed or during my leisure hours next is set a time limit it is easy to get carried away and write too much when diary entry a way to stay concise and on track is to set a time limit for your writing depending on how much you want to write set a time limit that reflects that you know somewhere between 30 minutes and an hour is ideal if you feel like you want to spend more time and that then feel free but for beginners i suggest you start with five minutes and if you if you if you're comfortable with five minutes then you can you know exceed the time also to 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 25 but i feel a perfect entry you know uh, should have minimum 30 minutes okay and max you know it can be one hour and then it depends you know if you know you are a smooth writer and if you have so many inputs you want to give into your diary and if you have enough time also then it is your choice it's how much time how much more time you want to spend on writing a diary next is date your entries the great thing about a diary is that you are able to look back through it and see how you have progressed over time. It is important to date every entry you write. Now, why I'm telling you is, you know, it makes a more systematic, it makes a more organized because maybe after a few weeks, after a month or two months, or maybe even after a year, if there is some doubt, if there is some confusion, okay, and you want to flip away the pages of your diary, okay maybe 50 pages back 100 pages back 200 pages back but then you know you are not able to find your entry where where was my entry but if you write the diary according to the dates month and year including time also time and places also then it becomes very easy for us also to monitor our diary to monitor our entries so it is my suggestion that whenever you write a diary please put on records the dates also now this is you know create an introductory entry for your first diary entry try to write an introduction to what your diary will be about introduce yourself what things interest you what you think is important and what you want this diary to be about open up and be yourself now why i am telling you this is because as i said this particular diary is your best friend you cannot hide anything from your best friend so you know this is your introduction to your best friend so why not open up about yourself why not introduce you to the diary and write a beautiful thought about is about who am i so that the diary also becomes your best friend okay so this is also very important and next is act like you are writing to a trusted friend believe me if you can look at the picture which i have posted over here is it's hello friend so the best way to write is as if you are talking to your best friend this is your personal diary for your eyes only so you should feel more comfortable writing as if you know you're talking to a trusted companion as cliche as dear diary may sound it can really lead you in the right direction in terms of the tone you should be writing in the goal of a diary is to discuss things honestly and candidly as if you were talking about them with a best friend or family member I think this conversation of mine might be pretty clear to the viewers as, you know, why do we make the best friend? Because there are certain, you know, private things. There are certain things which we want to share only with our friend. 
a trusted friend a loyal friend and you know sometimes we feel uh, inhibent to you know share it to the parents share it to the family share it to the siblings or share it out then we always hunt for one individual one person who gives us that comfort zone okay to have trust on that person and believe me diary can be the best friend to you you can be very very loyal you can be very very honest so that is what my suggestion is please don't be inhibitant come what may you should be candid enough and write write the thoughts and you know the train of thoughts should be written should be recorded immediately because ultimately it is what it is you know you are recording the events in the diary next is have fun writing in your diary should never be a chore or a burden so remember to have fun with it it can be a place of solace a place of creativity a place of reflection a place where your thoughts can roam free when starting a diary make sure you are writing about things you can care about and are passionate about because as long as you enjoy what you are writing and the process of it you will never miss an entry now here uh, particularly on this particular you know thing i want to talk about the creative writers also now there can be some poets or there can be some budding writers you know budding poets and budding writers and budding bloggers you know who are so creative and they always look for a very you know quiet place they go to the mountains they go to the hills they sit under the tree or they go to a cafe they order this coffee and then you know they have beautiful thoughts and beautiful train of thoughts coming and then they start to record them and then you know they feel pleasure in writing all these entries so this diary entry should not be a burden it's not a homework or assignment any teacher has given you so please feel you know you should have some fun because ultimately it will solve your purpose because there is positivity all around there is optimism all around so you should not feel that you know this is something a burden on me i cannot do it there is a you know force on me no next point is brainstorm what you are going to write about as in the previous slide i told you to select a subject to select a topic now here i am telling you to brainstorm take a few minutes before you begin writing to decide what you are you know what your entry is going to be all about hopefully you have already decided what your diary is about so dig a bit deeper into the topic or topics you have decided to focus on and get specific i mean you know if you are a fitness freak you can have all the diary entries regarding all the health you know problems you can write about exercises breathing exercises and meditation introspection and everything and then you know if you are maintaining a very healthy regime so you can even talk about a balanced food diet you know uh, do's and don'ts also do's and don'ts what diet to follow and what diet not to follow if you are a nature lover you can talk about all beautiful mountains trees flowers you know nature and and this flora and fauna i'm talking about beautiful you know beautiful and you know nature you know nature is such a bliss it gives us all positivity so you write everything depends and suppose if you are politically inclined so you can even maintain about you know all the current issues what whatever you feel about you read some newspapers you watch the news channel okay whatever important thing which you think you know it's going on all around the world you write so if you are artistic you if you are artistic then you can even do do you can even draw small small figures also when you write so it depends on your taste it depends on your background it depends on you know on your stream what kind of individual you are what career are you pursuing what streams are you in if i'm talking about the children then whether you are from the science background whether you are from the commerce background or whether you are the humanities students if you are professional also so then you know you choose a topic but then brainstorm it okay okay then next is 
ask yourself questions. What did you learn today? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to fix? How are you feeling? These can relate to your general life or specific parts of it. But then, you know, turn inward and ask yourself things because, you know, this is all about creativity. When I'm telling you about brainstorming and all, then, and you know, diary entry is what? That is your train of thoughts. That is your creativity, which you pen down in the diary. So it cannot be possible unless and until you don't, you know, uh, ask questions to yourself. You have to be inquisitive and pose the question to yourself and give the answer automatically. But then find out the questions for yourself that what questions you're not gonna ask yourself then write down your answers your diary entry can be your answers to the questions you have asked yourself now this is a great way to get writing when you don't know what to write about next make them different try and have a variety of different entries so you don't get bored you may be writing about a certain type of topic, but you never want to write it in the same entry. Differentiating your entries will also highlight progresses you have made and things you have learned. Now here also, you know, the, it depends from people to people as if I talk about females, if I talk about girls, women, you know, they have this passion. They can maintain two or three different diaries also. Suppose if they have that much of time, but uh, I'm talking about the officials, you know, the men and all. If they don't have time, so, you know, never mind. They can make one diary also. There is no hard and fast protocol. But then, you know, it depends whether if you are able to make them different. So why not make them different? Next, don't be hard on yourself while you are writing your diary is a judgment free zone so don't feel like they need to be perfect let the words flow now uh, since i am from the english background you know there are many people who contact me and then they pose so many questions at times they say uh, ma'am you are so fluent or you are a very good writer so you know it's it, it's quite easy for you to you know maintain a diary or you write the diary but there are certain shortcomings for an example these people tell me that you know uh, the grammar is not good the handwriting is not good we are short on vocabulary you know that creativity is not there that expression is not there and then these are certain you know uh, pitfalls i will say shortcomings i will say which you know i mean the people are scared that is the reason why they avoid the diary entries. They feel if we maintain a diary, so I'm not a good writer, I have a poor grammar, I'm poor on spelling, and e even the handwriting is not good enough. So it's better to avoid. But here, friends, again, I am telling you, there is no teacher on you. Your parents will not be checking the diary. The, the, your diary will not be submitted to your office you know the boss will not be checking the diary the teacher will not be checking the diary your parents will not be checking the diary and giving you marks your diary is not meant to be assessed upon no it is for yourself so why to be scared you know you write in whatever flow you want to write and this is one tip i want to give even for the beginners you know the budding writers not diary entries but any budding writer any poet any writing writer who want to get their books published also okay so there also this is one tip which has been uh, you know told about in all sessions that for writing the first draft the first draft should come out within your heart so don't be skeptical don't be scared whether it will be full of errors it will be full of spelling errors or you know a poor grammar a poor handwriting no it's your area it's your friend it's your space it's your own personal document so feel free to write then next most important is keep your thoughts in order your entries date themselves so you know when you write what but also try and keep your thoughts in order your diary will become a journey as you add more entries try to keep the narrative something you can follow 
for example, try to write about events in the sequence they happen. Avoid jumping around. Now, this is a very good news, you know, for the writers also, I am telling you. Suppose, uh, you know, there are certain thoughts which come into your mind. You write the thoughts. Now, next day, again, you observe something, you know. Again, you make made your entry and it continued. So sometimes what happens, you know, when those thoughts are maintained in sequence and then later on when you flip away the uh, pages and when you try to connect all those thoughts, you know, all those thoughts get connected automatically. There is a train of thought and may be possible that, you know, you can give birth to a short story, a short story can give birth to different, different short stories, different, different chapters in life. And may be possible that one day you can even become a novelist also, a short story writer also. So diary entry is the beginning to your creativity of passion to write something. And see, I have uh, given a beautiful thought on my slide. Positive thoughts generate positive feelings and attract positive life experiences. So why not? Till now, if you have not given it a thought, so please try today if you are interested. You know, again, there is nobody will force you. As I said, this feeling should come within. Next, get your creative juices flowing. You know, this is my favorite line. Why? Creative juices, you know. Your entries don't just have to be words. Adjust your privacy setting to suit your preferences. And again here, I am highlighting about the creativity. I am highlighting about the innovations. I'm uh, trying to highlight here the type of words, you know, the thoughts you want to write. And don't stop it once and i'm telling you why see for the beginners if i said first day you just give five minutes maybe the second day or the other and i'm i'm giving you a bet you will enjoy writing the diaries and gradually the time will increase the creative juice will increase you know flowing and you know gradually the time will also increase and you will love doing it why because see when learning is purposeful, creativity blossoms. When creativity blossoms, thinking emanates. When thinking emanates, you know, knowledge is fully lit. When knowledge is lit, economy flourishes. Now, this is a beautiful quote by APJ Abdul Kalam, which I really like. And the second thought by Deepak Chopra, which I want to tell you is, what keeps life fascinating is the constant creativity of the soul. So, don't stagnate your life don't be stagnant keep moving keep working and again for the beginners you know some good tips get excited look forward to starting a diary it is both a fun and productive habit reflect on yourself the people around you and what you believe is more important once you look back then you can move forward free write unstructured writing is probably the best way to start writing once you get into the ha habit of keeping a diary you will then feel more comfortable with structure now structure is also something very important see when we become professional then we don't expect even a single error in whatever we do because everything needs to be systematic organized and best but while you are beginning, as I, I as I told you about the format of a diary entry also, see, if you follow, hats off to you. Because you are doing it systematically from day one. But at, at, at times, there are people who don't want to follow any uh, format, who don't want to follow any structure. They want to write on their ease. But never mind. If you are comfortable in the beginning, write without a structure. But gradually, when you start enjoying it, you become more enthusiastic towards it you will also fall into the structured writing so stop worrying what can go wrong and get excited about what can go right next as i told you previously also you need to be very very honest with your diary because the diary is your best friend your diary is for you for your eyes only so be honest with yourself 
don't hide or hold back be frequent the more often you write the better be natural don't try to write a certain way just be yourself and here one more thing you know i want to tell my all lovely audience and that is sometimes maybe we do something wrong there is a guilt in us we are not able to overcome that or we are not able to you know share it with our parents with anybody but then for, for, for whom to share with how do we feel comfortable so this is the confession you want to make to your diary and once you write it you become stress free you know you because you, your emotions are already out your truth is already out to your best friend that is your diary okay so it relaxes us and you can have all the peaceful sleep because you are stress free so that's why i'm again and again highlighting this point please do not cheat with your diary do not lie to your diary please write everything whatever and that is your truth be honest be kind be honorable work hard and then it will be awesome write about the events of your day now suppose if somebody tells me see i'm not fitness freak i'm not foodie and i'm not into you know into hobbies i'm a very average type of a girl and average type of a boy i don't have any dreams you know i don't have any specific to write into my diary because if you talk about something specific then it becomes a sort of an homework or an assignment or a pressure on me now for those individuals i am talking about that if you don't have anything to write in your diary then why not record the events of your day how was your morning was something you know important happened in your day maybe a important business meeting or maybe if you have something good enough in the school you might have had a fight with somebody or a friendship with somebody or somebody appreciated you or you come across certain accident see it in the life is a mixture of all good news and a bad news you know so an average you know there are transactions in life sometimes we are coming across some good things some bad things success failures everything okay and maybe possible that during times nothing happened it was a same average day it was a boring day i do not do i mean i haven't done anything creative i haven't done anything productive then also if you could have you know it might be possible that you have got a good movie on netflix or any uh, any other your favorite channel if you have played a good ho- uh, i mean if you have played a good game or you have picked up a good hobby or you, if you did anything good maybe you went to the kitchen and you know uh, you turned out with the best recipe record it okay so the average day to day activities also can be recorded next is contemplate your goals for the future and how to achieve them this is also very very nice and this i'm talking about the children also okay and those who are still studying they can even think about the bright future what all examinations competitive examinations to take record it what are most important you know entrance exam dates record it what are the future courses i want to enroll in record it then uh, some children might be you know they are interested to go abroad then all that news from important tips important news of you know the abroad universities and everything the date of examination or whatever please record it or maybe maybe for uh, you know the post graduate children also if they want to do certain phd or if they want to go for certain higher education do it i am even talking about the professional the office goers also at times they feel you know i want to do an mba or i want to you know go for some vocational training vocational qualification or anything whatever you know you want to enhance for your academic progress and development whatever you want to do in future please jot it down and then you know jot down your current feelings or mood maybe today i can be happy maybe at times i can be sad i can be gloomy you know Uh, there are different reactions and emotions which comes to us please record please tell to your diary oh my god it was one of the beautiful days of my life you know a day to remember because i got this award 
there was a good news. My teacher appreciated me. My parents, you know, they gave me this gift. Or there was a surprise visit of my, you know, long-time friend. There can, there can be any news. There can be a good news about your result also. There can be a good news about anything you topped. Anything. Or maybe at times you can be irritated. At times you can be sad because of certain things going wrong in your life. That doesn't matter. You know, if you if you don't have anything to write, please write about your current feelings or mood. Then write down inspirational quotes and what they mean to you is also very, very important because here, then you are, you know, uh, utilizing your time very, very well. Because this is a very good thing I want to tell to my audience. At times when we read newspapers, when we go through some books, on you know, we Google out certain things, then uh, we come across beautiful quotations, beautiful positive quotations, you know, couplets. It can be couplets, it can be quotations, it can be anything, you know. And if you like it, if it strikes you, if it hits you, please record it immediately into your diary because it's going to work wonders for you. All these inspirational quotations and everything, they, you know, these are gems, you know, and I'm telling you, at in present and in the future, if you follow all these things, it will gonna do wonders for you. So please try to put all these things in record. Next is explore your favorite subjects or hobbies in depth. Yes, it also depends upon uh, your stream whatever is your favorite subject and not only on the subject on the hobbies also uh, there are some people who are very fond of painting you know doodling art cooking gardening cycling any sports hobby or anything if you are interested why not write it please record it now seeing your goal written in ink on paper will have a powerful effect on your mind because you have told your diary that this is what I want to achieve in my future. So very, very important. Next is, don't worry too much about grammar and spelling. Again and again, I am trying to motivate you. I am trying to encourage you because I've come across this doubt, this question from n number of people all over. They normally tell, you know, diary entries or diary writing can be maintained only from the, you know, people of English background, you know, those who have a strong command on language. No, nothing, nothing. Don't be worry about this, you know. This is only the first step. You begin writing. You begin recording the events and I'm telling you gradually and gradually as the period goes, you will come out to be a wonderful diary writer. Use lots of details to preserve moments in time. Choose a specific time and each day to write in your diary that again according to your comfort zone. When you are feeling comfortable, when you have that leisure time to write and also, you know, diary entry should not be written in a noisy place. A place which is full of people all around. Then you cannot concentrate. Always find out a lonely space, your room or any space wherein you should not be disturbed. Your thoughts should not be disturbed when writing. Next, keep your writing session short in the beginning. This is again, again, I am telling you that, you know, don't try to reach the mountain or the sky in the first stage. Okay. Keep it slow. Why? Because slow and steady wins the race. And this is an age time to practice. Okay. Now, I have, you know, spoken about all about diary writing and all but here i want to tell all my lovely spectators and viewers about the world's famous diaries you know now these are some of you know five famous diaries which i wanted to show you and gradually one by one i will be telling about it and there is a request from my side if you get the time try to find out these diaries okay if you can purchase it you know, it is very nice, not all five, but any one of them and start reading it. If you cannot purchase it, you can, you know, download from the internet and, you know, read it. And, you know, there are many people nowadays who uh, have joined online libraries also. You know, they are the members of the online libraries. There are so many portals from where you can get the diaries. 
download at least one go through it and these diaries are you know the personal diaries i mean all these are the autobiographies of these people so once you go through it you know you will definitely fall in love with these diaries for an example the first diary which i want to show you is pliny the youngest letters you know now pliny was a lawyer in ancient rome whose writing tells a lot about everyday life in the roman empire his most favorite account was of the eruption of the volcano which buried the city of pompeii the city ruins are shown over here so this is by this picture also you know suppose if you have an interest on the roman empire or life so you can you know uh, read this diary of pliny the younger's letters next is the most famous diary one of the most famous diaries is samuel pepys secret diary samuel pepys was an english politician during the reign of king charles ii he filled his diary with private thoughts and wrote it in code to keep it a secret this meant he could call the king a silly for spending so much time playing with his dogs so see if he has maintained writing the diary in secret code because he never wanted people to understand it or people to come out with his secrets and all so you know it depends i mean whether you want to maintain the diary in the short form in the abbreviations or if nothing like that it will be right in simple english no wonders next is louis and clark's journals in 1803 mary with her louis and william clark set off to explore the unknown land of western north america they kept detailed journals writing down everything from the new animals they discovered like louis woodpecker shown here to what they had for dinner their expedition hunted and ate exactly 1001 deer now this is something remarkable okay and if you are so much interested for literature and all then grab this copy or you can download it or you can have the free online version if you're interested you can go about it uh, the next one is robert scott's captain's log now captain scott tried to be the first to reach the south pole and kept a diary of his daily progress his final diary explained how a fierce blizzard had stopped his expedition just 11 miles that is 18 kilometers away from one of the places they had stored their supplies again if you are interested for mountaineering okay the snow and all so it depends on your interest that which diary you want to read about last but not the least this is one of the most famous most popular diary diary of anne frank you know anne frank was a jewish girl who lived in hiding from the nazis in amsterdam in the netherlands she wrote about her life in hiding in a diary which she had been given for her birthday she named the diary kitty and wrote in it as though she were writing to a friend now uh, i want to make a special note on this diary because see uh, why this is so popular and why there are many schools cbsc icse schools and different state board, uh, boards also you know these boards they prescribe this particular book for class 10 for class 9th students as a reference book or as a part of a study material in english why because you know cbsc has also decided that all the children are required at least to read one book and why this book is so popular among the adults since why because you know this girl has the detailed entry of whatever pain and anguish and trauma she went through you know and uh, this is also uh, something you know which i want to tell you that after her death when all the family members died only the father survived and the father he got this diary of you know his daughter and then he thought when he, when he, when he read through the entries when he read through the diaries all the pages and everything he was aghast to see that how this small girl has maintained all the records day twice and all the trauma she went through and then as a tribute 
to his daughter, he went all the way ahead to publish her diary. And that's why, you know, this diary, it became so famous. So, you know, if you want to develop an interest or whatever, I must especially recommend all of you to go through this diary. So, at last, you know, before winding up, now I want to give you this fact that English is fun. Use illustration if you prefer drawing to writing. So, what if you are, you know, so... I mean, even for the beginners. So what are you waiting for? Go get your favorite book or online diary and scribble away together. Have fun with English because you are never too old or too young to learn English. There is no age learning. There is no barrier, you know, so keep going. So this is what I want to tell about the diary entry. And uh, once again, I would like to thank everyone, you know, our foundation and my lovely audience for giving their time and to be a part of this presentation. And now I would uh, request Tiwari ji, if there are certain questions from the audience, so please put it on records. I would uh, definitely want to give the answers. आज के ये सेशन हमें यहीं कंक्लूड करना होगा कि जैसे कि मैंने बताया कि मैम को अभी और सेशन में जल्दी जाना है पीएम से स्टार्ट होगी तो इसलिए हम आज कोई सेशन नहीं है कुछ सेशन में आंसर और क्वेश्चन का सेशन नहीं रख पा रहे हैं बट आपके सारे क्वेश्चन का हम आंसर मैम से लेने का प्रयास करेंगे डिफरेंट माध्यम से और नेक्स्ट सेशन में हम जरूर उन सभी क्वेश्चन का जिस जिन जो आपने कमेंट बॉक्स में रेज किया है उसका आंसर लेंगे मैम आपने आज आए और इसके लिए अभाव फाउंडेशन की ओर से और हमारे सभी ऑडियंस की ओर से बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करते हैं थैंक यू Thank you, our foundation too, for the lovely platform they have given me to connect with you and to connect with the lovely audience. And I will look forward, suppose in case if they have the questions, if they have commented in the comment box, if the questions reach to me, I will definitely want to answer all the questions of my beautiful and warm spectators today. Thank you, ma'am. Well, Thank you so much. Today's quote is 18. प्लीज मेक श्योर कि सभी ऑडियंस फॉर्म फिल कर ले ताकि हम उनको जो है सर्टिफिकेट प्रोवाइड कर पाए तो मेरा रिक्वेस्ट है कि जरूर फीडबैक फॉर्म फिल कर लें ताकि हम आपके रजिस्टर्ड ईमेल आईडी में सर्टिफिकेट सेंड कर पाए जैसा कि आप लोग को पता है हमारी वेबसाइट है वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट अबाउट डॉट इन मैं एक बार डेमोन्स्ट्रेट करके भी आप सबको बताना चाहूंगा एक बार हमारी वेबसाइट को देखेंगे
मेन हमारी स्क्रीन दिख रही होगी मोबाइल की लैपटॉप पेज पर हमारी वेबसाइट है ये वेबसाइट में आप देख पा रहे होंगे फोन पॉजिटिव इन अपकमिंग इवेंट डोनेट फीस वॉल इंडिया और कॉन्टेक्ट है ये हमारी वेबसाइट है हमारी लैपटॉप की वर्जन है तो ये यहाँ पे टॉप राइट साइड में मोबाइल वर्जन में जो है मेनू पर क्या ऑप्शन मिलेगा आपको तो उसमें मेनू उसमें थर्ड वाली ऑप्शन है आपका भी यूएस की इसको क्लिक करते ही आपको ये सारा पोस्टर आप लोग को दिखाई दे रहा है ये थर्ड वाली पोस्टर आप देख पा रहे हैं ये आज की पोस्टर है इसमें सैलीमैन की एक इमेज भी है इसको आपको मोबाइल में तो डबल टाइप करनी है और लैपटॉप में तो सिंगल क्लिक करते ही ये फॉर्म ओपन हो जाएगा और इसमें अपना सारा डिटेल और लास्ट में जो है फीडबैक के बाकी एक अटेंडेंस कोड भी आपको फिल करना है वो वन एट है और उसके बाद फॉर्म को सबमिट कर देना है चेक करके तो ये एक छोटा सा प्रोसेस है तो प्लीज इसको फॉलो करें ताकि हम आपको तो सर्टिफिकेट प्रोवाइड कर पाए मिलेंगे कल के सेशन के बारे में मैं आप सभी को बताना चाहूंगा कल भी हमारा सेशन है कल की हमारी सेशन टॉपिक है डाउन सिंड्रोम इस टॉपिक पर हमारी कल वेबिनार है सीखा बार गांव में हमारे साथ कनेक्ट होंगे अहमदाबाद से वो खुद एक मदर है मदर ऑफ टू चिल्ड्रेन होम मेकर एंड ब्लॉगर पोएट राइटर एंड कोच अहमदाबाद तो प्लीज आप हमारा कल से दो और जो हमारा ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम ऑर्गेनाइज कर रहे हैं एक जो है मॉर्निंग में वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स पर होगा और दूसरा बिगिनिया पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज पर सेवन डेज की प्रोग्राम होनी है और एक तो ही योगा का सेशन हमारा कंटिन्यू से चल ही रहा है फर्स्ट जून से हम साइकोलॉजी पे एक इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम करा रहे हैं वो तो सारे सेशन हमारे चल ही रहे हैं तो अगर आपको लगता है आपको ज्वाइन करना है तो प्लीज़ आप रजिस्ट्रेशन करें हम देखेंगे हमारी अवेलेबल सीट में से आपको अगर मिल पाए तो हम जरूर आपको ज्वाइन करेंगे हम कल फिर इस समय मिलेंगे तब तक के लिए आप सभी का मैं धन्यवाद करता हूँ